Have you ever wondered how the mighty Nile crocodile, one of nature's most formidable predators, digests its prey? This remarkable creature, with its infamous reputation, is a master of survival, perfectly adapted to life in the rivers and marshes of Africa. The Nile crocodile is a stealthy, patient hunter, lying in wait for the opportune moment to strike. Its diet is as varied as the ecosystem it inhabits, feasting on everything from fish and birds to larger mammals like antelope and zebra. But the intrigue doesn't stop there. Today we're going to delve into the complex machinery that powers this creature, its digestive system. This intricate network is a marvel of biological engineering, capable of breaking down almost anything the crocodile consumes. You see, the Nile crocodile doesn't merely eat its prey, it swallows it whole. Imagine the power and precision it takes to perform such a feat. The journey of digestion begins in the mouth, where the crocodile's powerful jaws clamp down on its prey. Despite having no chewing capabilities, the crocodile's bite force is one of the strongest in the animal kingdom. The teeth, sharp and conical, are designed for gripping and holding onto prey rather than for chewing. Once the prey is secured, the crocodile performs a series of death rolls, twisting and turning its body to tear off manageable chunks. These are then swallowed whole, starting their journey through the crocodile's digestive system. It's a system perfectly designed for an animal that consumes its prey in such a unique way. From the strong stomach acids that break down the food, to the intestines where nutrients are absorbed, Every part of the crocodile's digestive tract plays a crucial role in its survival. This is the fascinating world of the Nile crocodile's digestive system, a world where every meal is a testament to the crocodile's power and adaptability, a world that plays a crucial role in the survival of this magnificent creature. Now let's dive deeper into this fascinating journey of food, from a crocodile's mouth to its tail. The journey begins in the crocodile's mouth, a deadly weapon equipped with incredible biting force. This is where the Nile crocodile's digestive process initiates, with a set of teeth that are as deadly as they are intriguing. An adult Nile crocodile boasts around 66 conical teeth, ideally designed for grasping and holding on to struggling prey, but not for chewing. These teeth are not fixed and can be replaced numerous times throughout the crocodile's life, ensuring that it never loses its deadly grip. Now let's talk about the crocodile's bite force. Measured at over 2,000 pounds per square inch, the bite of a Nile crocodile is often considered one of the strongest among living animals, second only to the saltwater crocodile. While other animals like great white sharks and hyenas have powerful bites, the Nile crocodile typically ranks second in terms of sheer force, making it an apex predator in its ecosystem. This immense force is generated by a complex structure of jaw muscles, allowing the crocodile to clamp down on its prey with the force of a small car. The crocodile employs this extraordinary biting force in a strategic manner. It captures its prey using a method known as the death roll. The crocodile bites down on the prey and then rolls in the water, tearing off large chunks of flesh that are swallowed whole. This technique is as efficient as it is brutal. The crocodile's jaws are not just about power, though. They're also about precision. A crocodile can hold its mouth open and wait patiently for hours, even days, for the perfect moment to strike. When that moment arrives, the crocodile snaps its jaws shut in less than a second, catching its prey off guard. Once the prey is captured, the crocodile swallows it whole or in large chunks. It doesn't chew its food like we do. Instead, it relies on its powerful stomach acids to break down the food in the later stages of digestion. After the prey is securely in the crocodile's jaws, it's time for the next stage of digestion. And so, the prey begins its journey down the crocodile's esophagus, marking the end of the use of the crocodile's deadly weapon, its mouth, and the commencement of an equally fascinating digestive process. Once the prey is in the crocodile's mouth, it travels down a long tube called the esophagus. This isn't just any tube, though. The crocodile's esophagus is a masterwork of evolutionary design perfectly adapted to handle the large chunks of food that crocodiles are famous for swallowing whole. This muscular marvel extends from the throat to the stomach, acting as a high-speed conveyor belt for the crocodile's meals. Unlike in many other animals, 
The crocodile's esophagus doesn't carry out any digestion itself. Rather, it's the ultimate transport system, delivering food efficiently and rapidly to the stomach. The esophagus is lined with a thick, tough layer of tissue. This serves a dual purpose. It protects the esophagus from the sharp teeth and bones of the prey, and it also allows the crocodile to swallow large prey items without causing damage to itself. With the food now in the stomach, the real digestive work begins. The crocodile's stomach is like an acid bath, breaking down everything from bones to feathers. This is where the real magic of digestion happens. A Nile crocodile's stomach is a powerhouse of digestion, equipped with some of the most potent digestive juices found in the animal kingdom. Imagine a vat of acid strong enough to dissolve steel, and you're beginning to grasp the potency of a crocodile's gastric juices. These acids are the crocodile's secret weapon, allowing them to digest almost everything they consume right down to the very marrow of their prey's bones. The stomach of a crocodile is a hostile environment even by the standards of other carnivores. While the human stomach has a pH level of around 2, the crocodile's stomach acid can drop to a pH of 1 or less, equivalent to the acid strength of a car battery. This extreme acidity is what enables the crocodile to break down the tough materials found in their diet such as bone, keratin, and even turtle shells. In addition to its potent acids, the crocodile's stomach also employs mechanical digestion. When a crocodile swallows a meal, the food doesn't just sit in the stomach. Instead, it's churned and crushed, broken down into smaller and smaller pieces. They have a muscular stomach with a specialized area called the gastric mill. This part of the stomach contains stones and gastroliths that aid in the mechanical breakdown of food. These stones help grind down tough materials such as bones and scales. This process, combined with the potent stomach acids, ensures that almost everything the crocodile eats is digested. Of course, not everything can be broken down. Some materials, like hair and certain types of feathers, are resistant to the crocodile's stomach acid. We'll explain the process of these indigestible items later in this video. The crocodile's stomach is a testament to nature's ingenuity. It's a marvel of evolutionary adaptation, allowing these ancient predators to consume and derive nutrients from a wide range of food sources. From the stomach, the partially digested food moves into the small intestine where the nutrients are absorbed. The small intestine is where the crocodile's body absorbs the nutrients it needs to survive and grow. This elongated winding tube, although not as ferocious as a crocodile's jaws, holds a crucial role. It's the site where the majority of nutrient absorption takes place. You see, as the prey's remains are propelled along the small intestine, tiny, finger-like projections known as villi increase the surface area, allowing for maximum nutrient absorption. These absorbed nutrients, proteins, carbohydrates, and fats, are then transported via the bloodstream to different parts of the crocodile's body. These nutrients serve various vital functions. Proteins contribute to growth and tissue repair. Carbohydrates provide the energy for daily activities, and fats are stored for later use. It's a marvel of natural engineering, ensuring the Nile crocodile has the energy and resources it needs to continue its reign as one of the planet's ultimate predators. The final stage of digestion happens in the large intestine, where water is absorbed and waste is formed. The large intestine marks the end of the digestive journey, transforming what remains of the food into waste. As we move further down the Nile crocodile's digestive tract, we encounter the large intestine. This final stage plays an essential role in the crocodile's survival as it's here that water is absorbed back into the body, a crucial aspect in the arid habitats that these creatures often inhabit. The large intestine's primary function is to salvage any remaining nutrients, particularly water, and compact the rest into fecal matter, ready for excretion. Waste products are eliminated through the cloaca, a single opening for excretion, reproduction, and laying eggs. The cloaca allows crocodiles to efficiently expel both solid and liquid waste. However, not everything makes it this far. You might recall the crocodile's stomach, a veritable cauldron of potent acid. Even this formidable digestive tool can't break down everything. 
Things like fur, feathers, and bone often remain undigested. The crocodile has a unique way of dealing with these indigestible items. Instead of passing them through the entire system, it regurgitates them in the form of pellets. These pellets are a fascinating insight into the crocodile's diet and, for those brave enough to study them, provide a snapshot of the predator's recent meals. The digestive process in crocodiles is relatively slow. This is partly because they can go for extended periods between meals and their metabolism is adapted to handle this intermittent feeding pattern. The metabolism of Nile crocodiles is influenced by temperature. Warmer temperatures generally lead to increased metabolic rates, aiding in digestion and overall physiological functions. This temperature-dependent aspect is particularly notable in crocodiles, as their body temperature can vary with environmental conditions. Nile crocodiles may exhibit seasonal variations in feeding patterns. During the dry season when food is scarcer, they might reduce their feeding frequency and rely on stored energy reserves. In contrast, during the wet season with abundant prey, their feeding activity may increase. Nile crocodiles are adapted to endure extended fasting periods. They are ectothermic, meaning their metabolism is influenced by external temperatures, which can help them conserve energy during periods of fasting. While specific fasting durations can vary depending on factors such as age, health, and environmental conditions. Nile crocodiles can generally go for several weeks to months without food. During times of food scarcity or unfavorable conditions, they may enter a state of dormancy or reduce their activity levels to conserve energy until prey becomes available again. Showcasing adaptations that allow them to survive in environments where prey availability may fluctuate. Their ability to efficiently utilize stored energy contributes to their resilience in challenging conditions. So let's take a moment to reflect on this incredible journey. From the moment prey is captured in the crocodile's powerful jaws, and the deadly bite force crushes and holds it, the process of digestion begins. The food then travels down the esophagus, aided by the crocodile's unique ability to swallow large prey whole. It arrives in the stomach, where it's bathed in a potent mix of acids that break it down into nutrients. These nutrients are then absorbed in the small intestine, fueling this formidable predator's body. Any remaining undigestible parts are regurgitated as pellets, and the rest is compacted into waste in the large intestine, ready for excretion. And thus, the journey of food in a Nile crocodile from mouth to tail comes to an end. From the deadly bite to the final excretion, every step is a testament to the remarkable adaptations of this formidable predator. If you reached the end of this video, you probably enjoyed it as much as I did. And just like me, you must be a true fan of crocodiles. If I got that right, please make sure to watch this one next. You're in for a treat.